Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, today we are finally going to make one of the characters from the Encanto movie. I know I've been teasing you with this project already for a very long time in the comments under my videos. But actually, you know, strangely enough, this is not the project that I have promised you earlier. Normally, we are working on the Mirabelle doll together with my mom. She's working on the outfit. But you know, Mirabelle's outfit is so complicated like there is a lot of embroidery and you cannot just place there whatever embroidery because everything in her outfit all these tiny embroideries on her skirt they mean something and that's why it really takes a long time for my mom to make it but actually right now the outfit is already finished she sent it to me a couple of days ago but you know my mom is in Belarus I'm in Belgium and I really have no idea how long it will take for this package to travel from Belarus to Belgium because of everything that is going on right now in Europe maybe it will arrive like usually within two weeks or something like this but maybe it will take a couple of months and I really cannot sit here and wait for this outfit anymore because I really cannot wait to make at least one of the characters from this Encanto movie because I think this is such a huge success for Disney. It's such a beautiful movie, it's so colorful, the music is beautiful, each character is amazing, really. I think this is a huge success for Disney. I think it's really one of their best movies in the last, I don't know, 10, 20 years. Really absolutely loved it. So while we are waiting for the Mirabelle's outfit made by my mom, I've decided to give a makeover to Isabella doll, to one of these official dolls because I think Isabella is so majestic, beautiful, stunning, really she's one of the most beautiful female cartoon characters I've ever seen probably and the official doll it's kind of okay, but it's not that majestic. So I think this doll could use a good makeover and this is exactly what we are going to do today. So guys, this is my Encanto makeover number one. Hopefully the Mirabelle doll in collaboration with my mom will come up in a couple of weeks. I really hope th that this outfit will arrive more or less quickly. So, and this is it. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit of course the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And right now let's take a look at this official Isabella doll and let's give her a big makeover. So, this is the doll. You have seen her already probably before. Hexion has repainted her some weeks ago. And you know, this is some strange doll. Because on one hand, she really kind of looks like Isabella. Look at her face. Her face really sculpted to be Isabella. But on the other hand, the majestic vibe is not there. This is not the prettiest doll in the village. And her face looks also quite strange, especially when you look at it from the front. So, I don't know, let's see what I can do about it. Then the dress, no, the dress I don't like at all, because Isabella's dress is all flowy, ruffled, decorated with real flowers. And this dress, nope. <laughs> it's not flowy at all, the flowers are seen simply like printed on it, so the dress must go, but I might need it later to copy the pattern of the top of the dress, to make my own, because this top is quite okay. Then her arms are not bendable, I've seen a version of this doll with bendable arms, but this is the only Isabella doll I could get after hunting these dolls online for a week. I don't know, strangely enough, all Encanto dolls were instantly sold out. Are they this popular? Or I don't know what is going on, maybe there are just too few of them on the market. Then her knees are also not bendable, but you know, I really like that she looks more curvy. I don't know, that's cute, I really like her legs. The shoes are cute, but they require some more details, we will work on them today. Her hair is okay, I can keep it, but yeah, this is it, so I'm not really impressed with the rest. So let's disconnect her head from the body, remove her face, and then we'll give her a big makeover. I've protected her hair with a towel before I started warming her head up with a hair dryer, otherwise this heat would simply melt her hair.
And when her face is gone, I can seal the head with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. It will help me to make her face matte and it will also protect my progress between the layers. So Isabella has a deep and warm skin tone, very natural makeup, brown eyes, so this is what I'm going for today. These peach color pastels look super white and chalky on her skin right now, but don't worry, the white will be gone after I spray it with the sealant. So this is probably it, she looks super cute, I really love her new face, you know later I will still have to blush her body, but I will wait with it for a while because I will need her body to make an outfit, this is the only body of this type that I have. And her outfit I want to start actually with deconstructing the top of her original dress, because I think that it has a really nice fit, so I would like to borrow the pattern, sorry.
Isabella wears this gorgeous dress. I don't know, sometimes it looks more pink, sometimes it's more purple or lilac. And then the sleeves are made out of more pink see-through polka dot fabric. So I've bought this lilac satin fabric and I'm going to combine it with this polka dot lace. I think it will look really good together. I don't know, it's probably not the exact copy of the color of her dress, but it's better than the original dress that looked simply blue and purple instead. There were no pink at all. So I will start with making the top probably because it looks more detailed and challenging than the skirt to me. quite a lot of work but the result looks super cute. I especially like the big ruffled sleeves, they're even bigger than in the movie but it looks really cute I think. So now let's make the skirt and Isabella's skirt exists out of three asymmetric layers. The two bottom layers I will make out of a half circle of fabric and the top layer I will make out of a full circle and I think it will give me the right proportions of the skirt. So now let's connect it all together. This is the dress guys, check it out, wow it was already some job but it looks really good so far and we are not done yet because we still have to decorate the dress with flowers because you remember that Isabelle is a real queen of flowers. So I've bought a bunch of organza ribbons and now I will make a lot of tiny organza flowers out of the ribbons using an old but super effective method of making flowers. So first I cut the edge of the ribbon to make it more pointy. Then I'm folding the ribbon a couple of times. Mm -hmm. 
Then I take a needle with a big loop and I stick this needle through the middle of this gathered ribbon. Then I put the pointy end through the needle's loop and I start rotating the needle clockwise. When I like the shape of the flower, I can pull the needle through and cut off and melt this pointy end of the ribbon. And this is it, cute and easy, but now guys, I will have to repeat it at least 100 times. Here it is the next day, oh guys that was some job again, but this is the result and it all looks super happy, super colorful, so now let's attach these flowers to the dress trying to follow the original pattern. This is it guys, I think, the dress is finished. You know, I really hope to finish it on two or three days, but in reality it took me almost five working days to finish this dress, but I'm not really mad about it because the result looks really, really cute, really happy about it. Now let's probably customize her shoes quickly to finish the outfit part of the makeover. And you know, I'm actually really happy with her original shoes. This is quite exactly what Isabella wears in the movie, just the colors are slightly off because you can see that the straps that go around her legs are more purple or lilac, while the top of her shoes is more pink and the soles are brown like regular Espadrilla's shoes. So let's paint them.
think the shoes turned out super adorable. Check it out, guys. I don't know, they look really cute together with the dress. Really happy about it. So now the outfit is officially finished and I can finally sand and blush her body to make it the same color like the face. Okay, the body looks good, the face looks good, the outfit looks good, so now I think it's time to style her hair. And I just want to give her hair a little bit more elegant wave. So this is where I've ended up with her hair, she looks absolutely gorgeous and you know I was just going to attach the lashes, do gloss and wrap this makeover up when I realized that I've forgotten about her earrings. So let's make them look very gold and realistic and for this I will need a leaf in size that will make the surface super sticky and a piece of golden leaf to stick it later to the leaf in size. Okay, the earrings are finished, I don't know, I think they look really legit, really golden and shiny. So now I can finally attach the lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So and here is the finished Isabella doll, my goal today was to improve the original doll to give her that special Isabella's majestic vibe and also to turn her into the prettiest girl in the village. And I think this mission has been successfully accomplished, you know, just at the very last moment when I was already busy with making pictures, I suddenly realized I'd forgotten about her beauty mark, so I added it off camera, I don't know, it looks like I'm forgetting everything today, the earrings, the beauty mark. But anyway, I think she looks absolutely gorgeous, her face looks very pretty and I'm absolutely happy about her dress, now she really looks like this charming and breathtaking Isabella. 
So guys, now please let me know what you think about this doll. Have you watched already the Encanto movie, by the way? Highly recommend it, really, it's a good one. I hope many of you did, because there is coming at least one more character from this animation film in the future. The one in the collab with my mom, like I told you already in the beginning of this video. And I actually wouldn't mind making more of them in the future, especially if they really decide to go for a series about the Madrigal family. I've heard the rumors that they want to make really the whole show with a lot of episodes. I think there is some space, like there is a lot of characters and drama in this family. You can indeed make a series about it. And who were your favorite family members, by the way, if you watched the movie? So, this doll is right now available for sale on eBay for three days, like usually, so please check it out if it's something for you. So, and that was it for today, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this video today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, normally in two weeks, in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye!